Welcome back to more Bravely Default 2, everybody. So in the last episode, we completed the first of three endings of this game. And we are now going to continue by loading this here. So which one was it again? It was... Should it be that one? The newest file. 6605. Yeah, it's gotta be this one. Number two. Alright, sorry. It's been like a couple of days since I last recorded. So I just had to get, you know, re-familiar uh, here. So... All right, I believe we're going to start some cutscenes, so I definitely will stop talking for a bit here. If the crystal's power is to be restored, there is only one way. A sacrifice must be made. My own. <sighs> so this was your plan all along? You... you knew this was going to happen? My grandfather gave his life before me, and now I give mine. No! Why didn't you tell us? Why? Because if I had, you would have stopped me. Of course I would! Forgive me, please. I never meant to upset you, really. I didn't. You have been so kind to me. It has meant so much. So very much. Now, at last, I can... ...say it, and mean it. Thank you so much. Gloria, please, you've got to wake up. What... What was that? The book usually shows us scenes from the past, but... That was something different, right? Is it true, Gloria? Is that how this is going to end? I... yes. There is no other way. For the Knight's Nexus to be sealed away, I must give my life. N no Its power is immeasurable. Even with the Crystal's aid, the Nexus can only be restrained for so long. At full strength, the Crystals can keep its evil at bay for two centuries at best. Fifty years ago, my grandfather laid down his life in order that that strength might be replenished. He did his duty as a monarch of the Musen line, but then the crystals were stolen, and their blessings misused. Now their power is all but spent once more. Which means another sacrifice, and a lot sooner than expected. And you've known that this whole time? Yes. And I have long since made my peace with the burden I must bear. My life is a trivial price to pay when weighed against the countless thousands that would otherwise be lost. But Gloria... Are we really gonna let her do this? Sorry, but this is the only way. Come, we must make haste. Okay, so I'm gonna actually say no to this, of course, because that's not what you want to do. I believe you can go back over there and fight the same final boss again, I'm pretty sure, and have the same ending, but that's not what we're doing. What we're gonna do is actually go back. Where are you going? To find another way to end this. But there is no other way. Your grandfather and Sir Sloan seem to think there was. I have to believe they were right. Wait, the book? Maybe there's something in there that can help us. My time to shine, is it? Right so, let's have a wee look-see. But you can't read it all yet, can you? I... Uh... Let's see now. Um... <sighs> Fine. Guess there's nothing else for it. Time to visit Fairytown. Fairytown? You mean 
My sister found out about the Knight's Nexus before she left Magmel, right? Maybe we can learn something useful there too. Well, hang about. I didn't think humans were able to get to your hometown. Oh, you'll get there no problem. As to whether they'll let you in, or me for that matter, well, that's another question. I left too. And long enough ago that I can't exactly pretend not to have been corrupted by humans. Hey, come on now. Still, it's the only idea we've got, so I'll just have to try and talk them round. Sounds like we need to hurry. Come on, then. The entrance to Magmel is in the Wayward Woods. What? It's where? You mean it was right under our noses this whole time? Yep. In fact, we walked right past it at least once. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. Time to pay the fairies a visit. I hear the voice of hate. It's alive, and it's coming home at last. <laughs> Never forget. Never forget. Oh, don't worry. I won't. They'll die. Every last human will die. They took everything from me. The people I loved. My home. I hate them! I hate them! I hate them! And now I'm going to take everything from them in return! Everything! Say goodnight, children of men! Never forget! Never forget! Now come! Destroy it all! The humans, their stupid world, everything! <laughs> The level limit for the freelancer job has been lifted. Keep an eye out for certain special monuments dotted around the land. These allow you to access trials which, if passed, can raise the upper limits of the level to which jobs can be developed. The abilities unlocked by raising jobs become beyond their normal limits are incredibly powerful. So the rewards are well worth it if you're up to the challenge. Yeah, that's something I am going to be doing, but definitely not anytime soon. Those things are hard. Like, really hard. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Um... I think really the only thing I can do... Wait, I, I've, I've entered these before, right? I've entered them? What the hell is this? Well, wait, wait. Was that the same one as... I don't even remember. I'm not gonna... Okay. The heck? Was that there before? Oh my god, sorry. It's been like a couple days at least, like I said. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you because this thing says Head for Magmail, Very Kind Sanctuary. But... There's also a quest that I can do here. <sighs> I watched it all burn from here, you know. My kingdom. My whole life. You did, huh? Still, at least you managed to make it out alive. I wouldn't have done if it hadn't been for Sir Sloane. I wanted to stay behind and fight, but he saved me. Although I didn't make it easy for him. It was the only time he ever raised his voice to me. If he had not done so, I wouldn't be here today. But it hurt so much to run away. To leave my country. My people. <sighs> Will you walk with me?
All right, that one says to go for a walk with Gloria, and I believe all we have to do is just go backwards in this dungeon area, and we will get this um, cutscene. Oh, sorry, not cutscene. What am I talking about? This side quest done, but all right, we got a we got a nice bit of a story there, you know, and a little bit about Sir Sloan and Gloria and what happened, you know, when they had their kingdom. But yeah, this video I should mention is going to be mostly just side quests uh, that are now unlocked now that we've entered Chapter 6. There's definitely plenty of quests to do by this point, and I want to make sure that I go ahead and, you know, do all that stuff. Uh, so what am I? Let me see. Okay. Well, Freelancer level 76. Okay. Got it. That way. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Oh my god, that thing just spawned right in front of me. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Special. I can do special. Or I can just do a double pressure point. Oh my god, you actually survived one. What the hell? Whatever. Oh, so Freelancer says legendary now. Wait a minute, I wanna... Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, what the heck? Oh my god, I went the wrong way. Shoot. So I should actually show this, but basically, in higher levels, you unlock different abilities, and um, I don't really know what these are. Increase all allies' luck for five turns, even more effective at night. Doubles the potential effects of all stat boosts received. What? Like, during battle? You mean? Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Repeat the most recent action performed by the user or an ally without expending HP. Okay, interesting. Cool. That limit break seems very interesting. I'll have to look at more into that. I mean, there's a lot of really amazing passive um, passive abilities. Um, so, dude, what the? Am I going? Okay, I don't know if I should have actually taken the warp. I just don't know how far. Uh, this thing is. Maybe I should have taken the warp, but what if I went too far if I took the warp, you know? I'm not really sure. But it's all good. I mean, I should be on Yes. This is the place.
Princess Gloria, come. We must hurry. Sir Sloane, I... Are we really doing the right thing? My father is dead, and my kingdom is lost. Why should I be the only one to make it out alive? Milady, you must stand, I beg of thee. I said stand, curse you! Oh, forgive me, child. But though you remain here and grieve for all time, naught will come of it. Thou must needs dry thy tears and turn thine eyes forward. If thou art to have a future, if Musa is to live on, tis the only way. Though none save myself stand beside thee now, others shall surely join thy cause in time. This being so, I beg of thee, gird thy loins and forge onward. Please, your highness, stand. Aye, this is the face of Musa. This is the princess I would follow to the world's very end. You're right, Sir Sloan. I have to look forward. I have to retrieve the crystals, no matter what it takes, to Halcyonia. There, we will regroup and wait until the time is right. I will be counting on you, Sir Sloan. Do I have your sword? That you do, your highness. Long live Musa. Long live Princess Gloria. Little did I know how right he would prove to be. In time, I met you, Elvis, Adele. And with your help, and that of so many others we met along the way, I was finally able to return home. But my journey is not over yet. I will be needing your help for just a little longer. We have to make Sir Sloan proud. And we will. And with that, we receive a quest complete. Nice. Okay, so I could have actually taken a warp and then just move a couple steps to the top up there, but oh well. Whatever. Alright, so now that we are officially in Chapter 6... A lot more quests become available, like I was saying, and that's going to be the majority of what we're going to be doing in this episode, even though we're already 18 minutes into this video and have only completed one, uh, mostly because of a lot of cutscenes too as we transition into, into Chapter 6, but um, I suppose I'll start with, actually let me start with Halcyonia, let me go the other way, so I'm just, I'm just going to walk across this bridge and go over there, so there's not really a particularly good order. Oh, by the way, I think I haven't been into that because I'm, I'm going to be going into that very, very soon, actually. I just need to, um... Go, oh, wait on, that's the wrong thing. That's the abandoned building thing. I don't want to do that. I want to go into Halcyonia. Alright, so... We'll just go and take it town by town to see how many there are in fact to complete. This might take a, I don't know, I don't know how many episodes actually, but then there's also, we, we have to eventually go into Magmail as well, which is gonna be crazy. Going over there, uh, let's see here. So there is, there's one here, there's also new items it says. That's interesting, what's new? Are there like new weapons? No, weapons are the same. Oh, all these. Can be used to lure spirit monsters into... Oh, I see. Okay. I don't really need those, though. It's all good. Okay. But see, I'm thinking of also... I mean, I'm going to do this one right here right now because, you know, it's right here. But, um... I'm thinking of it's going into Magmail because if I go into Magmail, I don't have to backtrack anyway to complete some of their side quests. Oh, hello there. Just the people I wanted to see. There's something I need to ask you. 
You know about the enormous flying machine that crashed near town, I assume? From what I hear, it's nothing but a pile of wreckage. But that hasn't stopped rumors of valuable loot bringing scavengers running from all over. That doesn't sound good. It most certainly isn't. These streets ain't safe no more. When they don't find anything up the crash site, they come to town and take it out on us. Can you head over there and get rid of them? Sounds like we better head. All right, leave it to us. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Good luck. All right, so that's a side quest. Um, you know what? I totally am going to do that. I'm just going to go to Magmill in this episode just so I can unlock that that place there so I can unlock the warp point and then just accept all their quests in there because I know there's going to be backtracking involved. I will just quickly check here though because I wanted to make sure that there's no... Okay, yeah, so this place is good. All right, so to get to Magmill, I believe I have to go into Wizwald. I have to warp to Wizwald and then go up to the like forest near... There, let me actually take a quick look at that because I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, so I would be Wizwall and then going up north. Okay, got it. Makes sense. So I'll just leave this quest hanging right now like that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is talk to you. Let's go to Wizwall. But I'm not actually going to go into the town of Wizwall. I'm just kind of waiting. Oh my god. There we go. Cool. And then we're going to go directly up north. Go, go, go. Run all the way. Oh my god. I really wish that your guys would run a little faster. I say this in episode 53, you know? <laughs> oh my god. I'm freaking ridiculous. Alright, so I think here, I'm going to actually take the warp, because I believe it's right where the warp is, just going directly north. Yep, it's still north, this way, so. I believe it's over here. It's telling me to go over here, so let's do it. about who's what or which is worse than the other. We need your help, all right? The Knight's Nexus is about to break free. What? You speak the truth? I do, Lady Esmeralda. Then we have little choice but to listen. Gatekeeper, lower the barrier. But Lady Esmeralda... Were my instructions unclear? N no, Lady Esmeralda. Right away. No idea how this is going to go, but there's only one way to find out. Welcome to Magmel, everyone. I promised I wouldn't come back here until I finished what I'd set out to do. Oh. All right, 
empty there. I'm out. H humans! Humans! Crikey. I've made some bad first impressions in my time, but that was something else. You can't exactly blame them. Most fairies have never seen your kind before. Oh, I get it. So we just need to get to know them a bit and all will be well there. Like, when you and me first met. Well, it should be easy enough. <laughs> this interspecies relation stuff's a piece of cake, eh? If you say so. Anyway, I'm sure it'll all be fine. After all, we're more similar than we're different in the end. Give or take the odd weirdo like yourself. And what's that supposed to mean exactly? What's that thing you always say? Don't sweat the details? Yeah, that. Come on. Alright, so we finally arrived at Magma. By this point, I can just, you know, warp out of here. But um, I'd rather not because there's a lot of quests that I want to go ahead and accept. But I believe in order to accept a lot of the quests here, um, I'm going to have to... Oh, there's a thing right there, by the way, Giant Experience Oracle. Cool. I, I have to actually progress by watching the first scene, because I can't really do anything else right now. Yeah, see? So, let's just go. It has been too long, Adele. It has. You're looking well, Lady Esmeralda. Children of men, you must forgive us our ill-mannered welcome. I am Esmeralda, acting warden of Magmel in the absence of our queen. Now, Adele, you mentioned the Knight's Nexus. I did. I'm afraid that Edna has broken the seal that binds it. She wants to destroy humankind. What madness is this? Tell me all that you know, child. I see. Then we have little time. You shall have our aid, but your companions will have to leave. Wait, why? They're my friends. And they're not just regular humans. They've been blessed by the crystals. Be that as it may, they are children of men nonetheless. And where humans walk, calamity follows. We cannot risk a repetition of past tragedies. No, you don't understand. They're... they're different. You will not sway me. Their kind are weak. Easily tempted. Corruptible. Or do you mean to tell me that you have not seen ample evidence of humanity's shortcomings on your travels? The differences between humans and fairies are vast and irreconcilable. Let us speak no more of this. <laughs> Elvis? Sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. Insolent wretch. Vast and irreconcilable indeed. I can't see any difference at all. I mean, I may not be known for my insight, but in all the time I've spent traipsing hither and thither with Adele, I've never had the faintest idea she might be anything other than human. Not the foggiest, I tell you. She laughs just like I do, gets mad just like I do, enjoys a beverage just like I do. As far as I can tell, the only difference between the two of us is a pair of wings so small as to be barely noticeable. And what of the troubled history between our two species? Pah! History's history! All in the past! Uh, that's the whole point, isn't it? Don't sweat the details. That's what I always say. <laughs> Listen, how's about this for an idea? You sit down with us for a wee drama six and see how you feel about our irreconcilable differences once we're done, eh? Have you still not changed your mind by then? The drinks are on me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You are entertaining, human. I will give you that. We would certainly be foolish to fear one such as yourself. Very well. 
We shall do as you suggest. But put one foot wrong, and I shall cut you down in a heartbeat. Ah, one more thing. Adele, you have suffered much that we might come this far. Know this. You are still one of us, and a valued ambassador for our kind at that. Bring wine. Tonight we toast the Heroes of Light. There you are. I see that you've overindulged as usual. <laughs> that is, my Delta doesn't know when to stop, eh? <laughs> you met your match at last. <laughs> That'll teach you to get cocky. Hey, I wanted to say thank you. Hmm? For what? Bringing you back home? Uh, no, uh, for saying there's no difference between us. The whole time we were traveling together, I never told you what I really was. I guess I was kind of worried how you'd react when you finally found out. <laughs> you? Worried about me? Uh, now I really have heard it all. And besides, why would I give a monkey's what you are? Why, indeed. I should have known you couldn't care less either way. You're far too flippant, and reckless, and weird. <laughs> that one I won't argue with. Charming. Good to know you're all in agreement. But I guess that's why I... Eh? Oh, nothing. Right. I think it's time we were heading back. Come on, you guys. Many centuries ago, a human came to Magmel. We fairies welcomed her with open arms. But she had come seeking to possess our most sacred treasures. Our wisdom, our memories. Ignoring our ancient laws, she gorged herself on forbidden knowledge, and in so doing, became a creature of malign power beyond measure. The Knight's Nexus. The very same. And since that day, no human has ever been suffered to enter Magmel again. Quite rightly, I might add. But now the Nexus threatens to reawaken, imperiling humankind and fairy kind alike. The evil must be stopped at all costs. If you will permit me to ask, Lady Esmeralda, do you have any idea how it might be stopped? You possess the asterisks, do you not? Fear not. I do not mean to take them from you. Hmm. You have not gathered them all. But those you do have should suffice. The Nexus may yet be defeated. You truly think so? Beyond lies the fount of knowledge, the wellspring wherein all wisdom and memory might be beheld. The Nexus will surely be drawn there. It must need slake its thirst. Though we cannot know what its coming might bring, we will aid you in whatever way we can. I will go on ahead, Heroes of Light. Join me there when your preparations are complete. And with that, we are actually done with this episode. If we keep going that way, there's a small dungeon, and then we get to the final boss uh, of the second ending, but we're not going to be doing that yet. Instead, there's a lot of stuff here. Now this place has become open for us, lots of quests, a shop, we can travel here and there, you know, so awesome. 
Alright, so before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I do post multiple gaming videos daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye bye everyone, have a great day.